Moses symbol represents CERN technology, y'all. And again, CERN is basically a beam that the archons are creating, opening up a portal to God knows where, because the portal is already open at the North Pole. And that's going to lead us out of the dream back to our sleeping body that's in Eden. And they don't want you to wake up, dude. You think a nigga just be talking when I say that? When I say, bro, they don't want you to wake up. They trying to keep you sleep. Dude, this is what I'm talking about right here. The Matrix has you. These archons exist in the dream before you get to the dream. They are the artificial simulated non-player intelligence that we call the computer or the adversary that's built into the video game. Just like the Bible say, the devil was already on, on earth in the simulation for we came. So the thing about it is when I say they trying to keep everybody asleep, it's deeper, dog, than what you hearing. I'm saying that the real you is literally sleep in another world. And it's only been sleep for a few minutes. In those few minutes, you done lived out years in this world. Because you exist on a higher plane. And in these higher planes, you are a sleeping baby that just started to develop in the fetal bag. Like, my thing is, what do you think a baby doing when it's sleep? It's dreaming. What is it dreaming of? A lifetime? Life is but a dream? Why does a caterpillar that has never been a butterfly before get out of a cocoon and know how to fly? Because it was running a simulation in its sleep. It just wasn't chilling. The caterpillar was inside of the cocoon transforming into a butterfly from the inside out, not just the outside. If it was just the outside, then it'll come out as a butterfly, but it won't know how to fly because it'll look like a butterfly, but it won't have the inner knowledge of how to take flight. So who taught the damn caterpillar how to fly if it was sleep the whole time? That's what I'm telling you. When the caterpillar was in the cocoon, it was dreaming that it was a butterfly. It was flying around in a simulation. So when it break through the fucking cocoon, nothing got to teach it how to fly. Because it was already flying. It already learned that it wasn't like nothing is wasted in the universe. Not even time. The universe don't waste nothing. So the universe is saying, okay, while you sleeping, you can be learning how to fly. And you, you, that's something you ain't got to worry about when you come out your cocoon. The universe is so fucking dope, man. It's so optimal and efficient, and it just doesn't waste. It, and it's basically saying, hey, for these couple of months or whatever while you sleep, we gonna run a simulation and teach you how to fly so you can go and get that out the way. We ain't got, we can't be wasting time. You can do both of this at the same time. You know what I'm saying? That way, when you come out, you can already know how to move around. You feel me? That's how dope the universe is. So when the baby is in the fetal bag, you ain't got to teach it how to be a baby when it come out. You don't got to tell it how to find the breast for the milk. You don't got to tell it how to cry when it need to be changed. You don't got it know how to communicate with you. It know how to tell you what, who taught the baby how to be a baby. See, no one teaches the baby how to be a baby, but the baby teaches the parents how to be a parent.